Hello everyone, I got the Bub031 here again, and I'm going to be doing a review on this big boy that I just got there a couple days ago. It is an A-line case, made for transporting your rolling stock and all that from place to place. So, I'm going to do a quick review on this, step by step on how to put one of the boxes together, and how it goes. As well, I have a buddies of mine who has the other version of it. We'll go through the differences and yeah, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so this is the A-line case there by Proto. I got this out of Soul Out Western from uh, one of my favorite shops. You guys already saw that I opened it up, so let's open it. Okay, so get rid of that. That's the paperwork we're getting. But yes, this is the Proto Power West A-line case. And there's the instructions. You get the foam with it as well, the case, and the boxes. Okay. Well, let's get cracking. See how this goes together. So, as a case, you get about five foam, uh, some foam separators for each box. You also get a cardboard divider. The box bottom, the box top, a total of five, and you get the main case as well. Very durable uh, material for this to go together, which is nice. And the boxes also feel very, very, very sturdy. So. Bear with me, and we're gonna start with the bottom and how it goes together. Okay, so, we're gonna start off with the bottom piece here. Fold it out. You're gonna fold the ends up like so, for now. Make sure it's good to go, and that you also have a good bend at the end, like, so that there's room for the cardboard to get in. Good bend. You basically got to do this at the same time with both sides so that you got no problem with one side to get folded. Make sure the, tip, the tabs go inward so that when it comes back down, it just slides into place. Then you just do that on the other side. Kind of an arts and crafts project. Out of the way for now. Close her up. Slides down like so. On the grooves. Bend inward. And then form up the box so that she fits. Okay, we're gonna move on to the top. All right. 
right, so now coming on to the top piece, it's going to be the, basically it's pulled, follow the folds. Which is pretty simple. And voila, there's your top piece. This is a nice little ppwaline.com logo on top. Okay, so we're going to crack on the last uh, piece from this box and then we'll do the last four. So bear with me. And as you can see, the dividers are also put in. It's one giant sheet that you gotta fold into four little slots. It's a little bit deformed right now, but once the weight of the cars go into the actual thing, into the crate, into the tote, everything will be fine. And then all you gotta do is just put the box on top. And that's one of the totes. All right, bear with me. I am going to do the rest of these and finish up with that. Okay, everyone, so I did all the boxes, and as you can see, the one that's on the right, that's the one I just did that I just got in the mail call. The one on the left is actually my buddy of mine, aka Tal Trains 8102. His, he got a four stack, and I purchased a five stack. With the four stack, you could actually fit taller cars into these, i.e. like auto racks, possibly the well cars there with a container or so and passenger cars whereas mine i'm able to fit potash cars hoppers and all that possibly even the lower version of passenger cars like my lrc's and for the potash cars i can tell you right now i can fit 16 in a box so that's pretty much it for now, guys, on these cases. I love it. It's easier to store uh, rolling stock and all that and to pull it out at the club just a lot faster than individually pulling it out of a package. And that's it for now, guys. More reviews and all that to come later on down the road. Thanks for watching. And as always, make sure the signal is green and keep moving down the line.